in what I like to call an adoption cycle right now for the industry. We're trying to get consumers buying things again. We're not trying to over-innovate for the market, which oftentimes can spur uh, spur that growth. So we're in an adoption cycle rather than an innovation cycle. I think that when it comes to uh, CES, tech, uh, the show is always a forum for you know, a, a huge range of technologies, both emerging and established. Um, and you can always you can always find what you're looking for. The, the question is, how, how many of those technologies actually then emerge from CES to, to create a product that's going to have some enduring relevance in the consumer market? Um, we think there will be a fair amount of, of tablets. I sort of u loosely use the, ner the term tablet. Um, a lot of these are sometimes devices that just fix themselves on the wall and you know, are a screen for point-of-sale retail. Um, some of them could be you know, dedicated TV players. Um, some of them will be, you know, computing-based tablets, but we think there will be a lot of tablets. We've noticed that that, uh, that section has grown. You've seen slates and tablets come sort of across the board. Uh, the question is, well, is this too much stuff? And the answer is no, it's not too much stuff. Uh, diversity is everything that we want. We want more unique products. One of the reasons that the tablet has been so successful in the marketplace is because it gave us a new opportunity. Before the tablet came along, our only choice was a PC. So we did everything on a PC. A lot of things that were, let's say, unnatural to do on a PC. With the tablet, we were freed from that. And so now we can do things on a tablet, we can do things on a phone, we can do even more things now on a, on a tablet, or on a PC rather, because of the new form factors and the detachable screens. So I think more is better. What we're seeing now is less very definitive segments of you know, tablets and smartphones and PCs and really one continuum of products uh, emerging. And we're seeing certainly manufacturers like Samsung really pushing that story hard and we'll see that at CES.